welcome back to my channel uh, so this is the last video of the project billing system so this is the final part uh, whatever is remaining in this uh, project so I will be explain in this video only and uh, in the description in the video description I have mentioned the link for the code uh, the github link is there so you can just go um, go to my github link and uh, you, you will get uh, the codes of this project so you can download it and uh, the previous two videos links are also uh, 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 given in description so if you haven't uh, if you haven't seen my previous two videos of this project so you can go and check out then you can uh, and then you will be uh, understand this third part more clear so let's get started with this final part okay then after that if if the user can uh, click to this new customer okay so what will happen so this uh, will happen this new customer dot java will will call okay new customer dot java will call and uh, there is another some variables okay and there is a new customer that is constructor we have to set the location uh, location is what what is the set location work uh, where the this uh, new customer uh, window will open so the uh, we know that uh, in every pc there is a this point is 0 0 and uh, this is the x uh, axis and this is the y axis so at this point it is opening okay so at this point it is opening and the size of this uh, window is what 615 to 600 so okay so that's why at this point is it is opening and the size of this window is 650 at 600 so it is coming here okay so that is why uh, this is why uh, this is what this set location is doing and then again i am j uh, using the j panel okay and um, i'm creating an object okay so now at here i am using the layout as grid layout because uh, I'm not using the um, uh, like before in this Java project I have used what I have used uh, this uh, background I guess so I'm using this uh, grid background and I'm uh, setting this background color as white okay because uh, the the predefined color of any netbeans uh, any netbeans application is gray so but i don't want gray so i that's why i'm using white color and there's a l1 this is a variable that is a label so i'm using a name and then i'm using a text field and then i'm adding this both things and again and doing the same thing okay so uh, it is up to you that uh, how many uh, columns you want and rows you want uh, to get the details of the user so according to your uh, requirement you can add okay and delete and just I'm, I'm using two buttons that is submit and cancel and the setting the background color of the of this button as b1 dot set background color dot black or white whatever you want and then i'm using this set layout new border layout because uh, i'm adding this p thing at center okay then then this new jpg what is in new new jpg this new jpg is is this is this picture okay so i am adding this picture so that it looks uh, more interesting okay then the same scaling okay so the main thing is is here action performed so what action should perform if i am i if i am clicking on this submit button so whatever the details is filled in this thing it should be go to my database so how it will go to my database uh, it will copy uh, the the thing uh, the data from uh, t1 t2 t3 t4 t7 tak, uh, it will copy uh, to a b c d string to h and it will uh, in my string q1 there is a sql query again that is insert command insert into emp value emp is a table name and a b c d e all the things will go to my uh, database okay and again i am i am uh, using this exception handling uh, and then again i am uh, making an object that is c1 and i am executing this uh, s1 dot execute update and i am passing this q1 that is query okay and then 
if it is correct then it uh, it shows a dialog box that a new customer added okay and this new customer added uh, and this uh, this uh, this project uh, this uh, window should be disabled so that's why i am disabling it okay so it should be disabled and if any exception is uh, uh, occur then it should catch and then again it's a main function so i hope this uh, this new customer.java is also clear so then again after that if uh, what we have we have the customer details so customer details is this new customer will uh, insert the data and this new customer details will get the data from the uh, from the database so how it is getting that uh, data uh, data from the database so let me show you so this is customer details dot java okay then again this is the import files this is extending a j frame because we want a frame and this is action listener okay then there's a string i have uh, made then a string that is a, a array string x uh, which has these uh, parameters which is this values we can say and there's a 2d string because the table is uh, is in 2d form so that's why i'm using this 2d string okay and whatever i will write at here so that's why i have 20 uh, rows and 8 columns so whatever i will write uh, here so it will uh, execute the at this times okay so you can change it if you want and i'm initializing the two variables i and j as zero and then there's a constructor and this is super so it will uh, super is doing this thing customer details okay then then there's a set size the size of this uh, of this uh, frame okay then the location where it should be open on the screen then there's a try and it will uh, uh, there's a same thing there's an object of class con and this this uh, query should be executed whenever uh, we want this customer details that is select uh, star from emp emp is the customer details uh, table so again this thing and uh, uh, rs dot next whenever this is next okay whenever uh, it should be at end after end it should not return anything so if uh, it is a name so it should uh, give the result uh, result of the name okay so it will just copy because the name of this uh, sql in my sql table i have made this uh, name as uh, uh, let me show you that in my emp i have name meter id meter number address so this is same uh, this should be same in my customer details here okay then this is same exception handling then uh, main function is calling okay so this is also very simple so i hope that you uh, you understand this uh, this is java customer dot details customer details dot java file now now we have what now in user we have pay bill so in pay bill i did not anything uh, i just um, frankly speaking i i copied the uh, the code from net uh, from stack overflow in pay bill i i have not any idea what i have i supposed to do because uh, uh, at pay bill i just link a website that is paytm.com so that uh, if we have the any account so we can just uh, uh, take money from our customers uh, through this so that's why i'm using this so i'm not going to show you this uh, this uh, file okay because i haven't uh, i haven't uh, do any code in this file so that's why so uh, then calculate bill then calculate bill i want to show you all then let's say calculate in calculate bill what will be there so in calculate bill okay so in calculate bill this is the calculate bill.java file so this is same thing okay, which i have explained in my uh, in my previous classes and this is the constructor and this is the some variables i have used because it, in this video will getting very longer so that's why i am explaining it very fast because i don't want to make uh, many videos on uh, on this single project because i want to make some more projects 
uh, uh, in future so that's why uh, I will make some more projects um, using the same concept MySQL and this NetBeans uh, that will be available uh, in different playlist at my channel so that's why I'm uh, doing it very quickly uh, so if you have any doubt so you can ask me okay you can ask me uh, by writing a comment okay so this is the same thing you can understand this is the labels and uh, this is these are the um, c1 is what c1 is the choices so choices are used for it is the same as html we are using uh, any drop down so we can uh, select any options so that's why i'm using this choice and uh, data type so we have two two choices one is for the meter number and second choice is for the month name okay then we have button submit so and then image same thing okay then i'm adding this thing okay then the main thing is here the mean uh, logic what is doing okay so uh, string a is equal to c1 dot get selected item and string b is equal to t1 dot get text so whatever uh, the data is uh, is at uh, c1 and t1 it will be copied here okay then i i don't want any string data you know, because uh, the string data can't be calculated so i am uh, uh, converting type casting the string data to uh, to integer by this integer dot pass int and it will be copy the data from b to p1 and then i am doing some calculations so that so to um, to generate the bill and i'm just uh, uh, there's a string uh, q that is uh, again a query that is inserting the value in my database okay in this in this build build data um, table okay and then again there is a object and this build updated message will pass if this query is executed uh, perfectly uh, if not then this catch uh, catch uh, function will this catch statement will be uh, called okay then again this main function same thing okay then what we have next next we have last bill so last will be just show you the last bill of any meter type or any meter number so like this okay like 102 last bills are january we have only one bills of sonam that is uh, january in the month of january and the bill is 3734 so how it is using it is it is receiving it is taking the data from this database but uh, let me show you so this is pay bill new customer generate bill last bill okay last bill dot java here it is so again same thing okay size of this uh, last bill okay last bill window and uh, layout is using border layout we have four types of layout basically a uh, grid layout border layout okay so uh, according to your convenience you can use different type of layouts then this is generate bill this is a label okay and i'm adding this thing because i want to uh, take this data like uh, for which meter number you want to you want to generate the bill you want to check the last bill okay then i'm using this font uh, font style and i'm using this font as italic and this, this is the size of this of the uh, font and then that will be copied towards uh, t1 and t1 is what t1 is uh, text area so whatever the text area okay so text area will be uh, shown uh, according to this format okay then this is the main thing customer details uh, sorry action perform so this query will be executed select star from emp where meter number is whatever you have selected okay so um, the in this will show you the customer name from the database and this will show you meter number from the your meter number okay so this thing will be uh, called uh, from rs dot next times okay then details of the bills same thing then if this and uh, this is not uh, happening then this catch will be happen then this main function so it is also very simple you can check then i think uh, then the generate bill so generate bill and the last bill are very common so i am not uh, going to explain this generate bill again i am going to just uh, show you the generate bill this is very simple thing you can just uh, see okay this is almost the same okay so i am not going to explain it again then we have last last button that is uh, utility and utility at here notepad 
calculator it is an, uh, not any class it is directly calling at the project.java in the project.java class okay and then we have exit and this is not any class and th this is also calling from project.java so i think i have completed this um, uh, uh, i have uh, uh, from my side the explanation part is very clear uh, so if you have still any doubts from uh, uh, if you have interested and doubts to ask so you can just comment down I will definitely de reply you back and uh, the all the codes will be available at my github so you can just go there and if you want to uh, modify it so you can modify it okay okay so so this is all and this is splash.java I haven't used uh, you can use it and um, this is j because uh, if you want to uh, show something before your uh, before your main activity get executed so you can just splash uh, use this splash screen it makes your uh, application very interactive uh, to the customers to the to any any user okay so in this project I have uh, showed many things uh, you just uh, like uh, how can you connect your SQL to your project uh, and Java application or any project okay uh, many people instead of using this inbuilt mysql they are using their um, um, they download their servers and they are using the uh, sql from that server so that is also good but i am using this inbuilt uh, mysql so i think this is all for this project so this is all for this video i hope you have understand the working of this project billing system and if you have any doubt or any query uh, regarding this project so please comment uh, your query uh, i would love to answer your query okay so thank you so much for watching my videos uh, in my upcoming videos i will make two more projects on the same concepts in java programming so my next video will be on uh, project uh, name employee management system so stay connected with this uh, channel and uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, share my videos with your friends Okay, thank you so much.